Hey, welcome back students. In this video, we want to go ahead and focus on how to calculate molal concentrations. And molal concentrations involve the following. It involves the number of moles of a solute divided by the kilograms of a solvent. And the formula is as follows. So molal concentration is equal to the number of moles of the solute divided by the kilograms of the solvent. And so let me clear up the top part here just so it looks better. And so what we're really talking here is the solute. Okay. And so that the, the moles of solute is the moles of the thing that's being dissolved, and the solvent is the one that actually does the dissolving. And so since this is the actual equation we'll be using, let's just go ahead and identify the information in the equation or the problem that we've got up above. So the problem reads as follows. How many kilograms of water must be added to 75.5 grams of calcium nitrate? to form a 0 0.500 molal solution. And so important parts here is that we've got 75 grams of calcium nitrate, we've got a concentration there, and we want to know how many kilograms of water are needed. Okay. So the thing that's going to be uh, dissolved is going to be the calcium nitrate, so this is your solute, and the water is the solvent. Okay, so what we need to do is just plug everything into our equation and we can go from there. And so since we know the concentration already, that's going to be 0 0.500 molal. And this is going to be equal to the moles of the solute. Well, we don't know what that is yet because we don't have moles, but what we do know is we do have 75.5 grams of CaNO3. And this is going to be parentheses 2, and this is going to be divided by the kilograms of H2O, which is what we're looking for. Okay, that's the question mark. And so the first thing that we need to do is we need to take the 75.5 grams of calcium nitrate, and we need to convert that to number of moles. And so if you don't remember how to do that, let's go ahead and do this here at the bottom. We'll go erase it when we're done, but for now, let's go ahead and do this. 75.5 grams of calcium nitrate and we need to convert this to moles. So moles is what we're looking for. Moles will go up top and then the grams goes on bottom because that's what we have to begin with. And so let's go ahead and look for the molar mass of calcium nitrate. And so we'll start with our oxygens. Oxygen is 15.999. We're going to go ahead and round that to 16. And there are three of them inside the parentheses. Notice that uh, because right here, so we've got three but overall, we've got a total of 6 because the per whatever's inside the parentheses has to be multiplied times 2. So that means that we're going to have to take this and actually multiply it times 2. So 16 times 3 is going to be 48. Times 2 will give us a total of 96 grams for the oxygens. And then we're going to add the number of nitrogens. In this particular case, we've only got 1 inside the parentheses times 2 because there's 2 inside the parentheses. So we'll take 14 and then we're going to multiply that times 2 and we're going to add it to the 96. So, so far we're going to have 124 grams just in these two atoms right here. So we're going to have 124. When we add the calcium to it, the calcium is going to add a slightly different mass to it. And calcium is actually going to be giving us a mass of 40 grams. So we'll add the 40 grams there. So plus 40. Okay, so 40 from the calcium. And when we add these two together, what we wind up getting is the following. 164 grams, oh, sorry, that actually goes in the denominator, so we'll have 164 grams in one mole of calcium nitrate. Now we want to make sure we put the CaNO3 here just so that we're consistent, okay, and what winds up happening here is our gram units are going to cancel, and what we'll do is we'll take the mass, 75.5, and we'll divide it by the molar mass, which is 164, and that gives us a mole number for this particular problem of 0 0.460 moles of CaNO3. That then we use this number then to replace up top. And so we're going to go ahead and do that now. So I'm just going to go ahead and scratch it out here. And I'm going to replace it with the moles that we just found, which is 0 0.460 moles of CaNO3. 2. 
So now we know how many moles we've got, and so it's very easy for us now. All we have to do is solve for the kilograms. We can treat kilograms as an X, and so if we do that, we can solve this easy. So let me go ahead and erase the bottom part here so we can provide ourselves some additional room to work with. And so now that we've got this out of the way, we can definitely go forward and solve the problem for us here. And so essentially what we've got now is we need to make sure that we can get x by itself. And so what we'll do here is we're going to go ahead and multiply, uh, cross multiply here because the mole on the other side has a 1. So we're going to take the 0 0.05, excuse me, the 0 0.50 times x. So we'll have 0 0.500 molal times x equals to 0 0.460 moles of Ca. NO3 2 times 1, which essentially is the same thing, and we'll go ahead and divide by the 0 0.500 molal on this side. It cancels and we'll do the same thing to the right hand side, so 0 0.500 molal, and at this point I'm going to go ahead and, and do the what molal really is. So molal here essentially is going to be the following. Uh, and So molal here is going to be the moles per kilogram, right? And so this is going to be moles per kilogram. And so this other part over here needs to go away. And that's not needed. And so what we get here is we get an x value that should be equal to what we want. And so our x value, after we do this math, and so what we need to do is take 0 0.460 divided by 0 0.500. And that will give us a molal answer of 0 0.92. Well, what happens here is the moles are going to cancel, so what we're left with here are going to be kilograms. And this is going to be kilograms of water that is needed. So here is the answer for this particular problem. Okay, And so if you go ahead and look at that math, you should see that it will come out to exactly what we want. And so the answer here is 0.92 kilograms of water.